the whole reason we do prescribe fires is it's a way to reintroduce a natural disturbance that uh, these ecosystems, these landscapes have evolved with over thousands of years. One of the reasons of putting fire on the landscape is to help us combat invasive species, um, but as well as just to benefit the native plants that are supposed to be here, which did evolve um, under fire disturbance. Uh, a lot of the prairie grasses, oak trees, I mean, there's a long list of species that will actually benefit from uh, prescribed fire disturbance. We have a list of maybe about 1,000, 1,500 acres uh, annually that we try and burn um, on a schedule either fall or spring. Um, and most units are on about every two year cycle, some are on about an every three year cycle. Hazards often we have to take into consideration our escape potential, what kind of fuel and fuel loading exists outside the area we're intending to burn. Are there overhead uh, power lines that are forming a hazard? Are there recreational trails, you know, adjacent to or cut through the burn unit and public recreation use going on? Um, so yeah, there's, there's a whole list of management concerns and safety concerns we have to take into consideration. But probably the biggest one is smoke management especially on nearby roads or schools or hospitals or uh, other sensitive smoke receptors. We really have to be aware of where we send our smoke and how that disperses. It, it takes skill, it takes knowledge, and it takes experience to do this safely and to do it well. No one obviously wants to get hurt. No one wants unintended consequences from this. I mean, we're doing this for the benefit of the ecosystems. They, they've evolved with fire disturbance for you know long, much longer than we've been around. So, you know, they do they do a pretty good job of getting out of the way. Uh, there are certain species that are less mobile, uh, in particular uh, turtles come to mind. Um, we try and get the sites burned when we know they, they haven't come out of, out of hibernation yet, when they're still under the ground or under the water, um, so we, there is no risk of burning them. Um, and vice versa, if the temperatures get too high and, and we feel pretty securely that they are at, up and active, uh, we won't longer burn that site, we'll wait for the next season. Um, but most of your animals, you know, your rabbits, your, your deer, they, Take it out of the way. <laughs>